So, hey guys, Chauzy here. So in this video, I'd like to talk about the wanted posters. If you don't know what I refer to, it's this resource. Yeah, the material we can use to increase the level limit break of units. There are two variants. We have the uh, rear recruit variant that you can use for free to play units, rear recruits and such, which is the top row here. And then we have the legend variant, which is down below, which is a lot rarer and a lot more powerful. As you see, I have a bit of each, which I'm super stoked about. But the question is basically, how do you use this properly? What should you use them on? And like also the change we've got in this because there should be a new feature introduced here during the new year, which I think heavily affects how you should be using these. At least I've decided to think twice about using mine. So yeah, let's talk about the rare recruit variant first. As you see, I got quite a few. We get a lot more of this resource. We can also actually buy it every month in the Ray League Gem Bazaar. We can buy them in packs of three and they cost 10 gems each. Uh, most spenders always buy them. Uh, I don't always buy every variant. I look at like what, like what we have the least of and stuff like that. But if we look at those I have now, we can maybe buy a few. Oops. We can see that I like quick and strength a lot. So those are personal no brainers to buy. So let's do that. And then you buy them, 10 gems each. And if you do this, for a few months, like you get a few. And basically by owning nine of these, you can instantly max any new rare recruit you pull. But then the question is like, what rare recruits will you max? Uh, historically, this has been used for mainly PVP rare recruits since PVP units rely a lot of stats. If I pull a good PVP rare recruit like King here, for example, I do think he's a bit overrated, but yeah, he's good. Then I can just instantly feed nine strength wanted posters to him, get him to level 150, and I know he's at his max potential, and I don't even have to care about pulling dupes. I think this is one of the reasons why Bandai nerfed the Ray Game Shop a bit, because in the past, we couldn't just buy one of these packs, we could buy three every month, so that's nine of each potentially every month. So yeah, Bandai nerfed that now, but we can still get them extra. And we also get quite a few from stuff like Parking Adventures and such. So yeah, I'm happy we have them. Uh, they can also be used in stuff like Treasure Map. Like in the upcoming Treasure Map, we have a Booster Nami, for example. And it's not a super big rush to max her, but if you know you will be trying to rank and you want a team to last as long as possible, it's pretty good value to max out one or both of the rare recruits so you can keep doing extra damage. This could maybe make your team last like 50 more nav levels, for example, just by the extra stats you get. And the same could be said for like uh, Kisuna. For example, uh, even if not to the same extent. But yeah, with that said, let's talk about the Legend Wanted posters, which is much more rare, thus you have to think a bit extra before using them. In general, the categories of Legends who've been using these are twice. Uh, if we go to the collections, we can look like at every Legend in the game, divided as well. I think we have to go there and then Suguri release. There we go. In general, these have only been used for limited legends. We're talking Super Sugo Fest legends, any legends, PvP legends, treasure map legends, Kisna legends. So some of these have been the main targets. 
And the main targets have either been one, good in PvP again, because stats matter a lot, level and break matters a lot in PvP. And the other one is some unit who by themselves does a lot of damage. For example, if we take a new legend like Sorosanji, who are really good to get rainbow, but it doesn't really matter to have them at level 150 because you will usually be hitting with them pretty early, especially if you want their super tandem to gain effect, so you don't really need to invest posters in them. Meanwhile, the Yamato, who I think is probably the worst new le year legend, posters are more important here since Yamato has the uh, strongest final tap in the game in terms of pure damage. It's just against two colors, but can still see some play. And then investing level limit break poses in Yamato can increase your damage by quite a bit if you manage to set up the final tap. Another unit I gave some level limit break poses to was Kid and Law. This was a bit of a special case to be honest, since they can actually do damage through full immunity, which very few can do, and they also set for up for others. So this means that them having high stats just means they do more damage with your special, and you always know you can do more that you always can do damage with the special. So that's why I invested some posters in them. One thing to keep in mind when investing posters in legends, though, is like if they have a super tandem, like if you want to uh, level 150, one of these. Uh, you can't do it with just wanted posters because then you don't uh, level up the rare potential abilities like Super Tandem. So it's a big waste in general to say, let's say you put Law and Kid, you use nine wanted posters, and then the future Law Kids you pull, you have to feed dupes for Super Tandem or even a Super Tandem tablet. But then you wasted one of the basically because each dupe also adds to the level limit break. So what you have to do then, like for example what I did with Gear 5 Luffy when I maxed him recently. I'm, I did it in a video so you can, can see what I did. Basically what I had, I lacked one single level limit break and I lacked one single rush. So what I did, I decided to do, was to feed one rush tablet and one wanted poster and those together have the same value as a dupe of gr5 i don't recommend doing that in general but that was like a judgment call for me since i know i won't pull more gear 5 until the uh, 10th anniversary and that means a lot of months without having him it has max potential so pros and cons going back to it we also had with pvp uh, one legend i know quite a few max not Chang's, at when they pulled him was the only PvP legend I don't have, Apu. Like Apu, for example, PvP legend, you will unlikely pull a lot. Like I've been lucky with some of the PvP legends, like I pulled maybe five of them, but that's still a long way from getting level 150. And a unit like Apu in PvP, for example, he does so much damage himself to int units, ignores the fans, 1.2 times multiply, so Every single level limit break, like limit break expansion and such, just adds more and more damage. So you basically need a poo at level 150 with limit break expansion to really do the optimal damage. And basically, it means that if you have a level 99 a poo and level 150 a poo, like it's night and day in terms of damage. So I think some of those who invested in a poo did a good judgment call, even if int is not as strong versus I nowadays. So that's how we've done it in the past. Basically we just farm the Legend Wanted posters until we have a reason to use them to gain more damage in some way due to level limit break. But I think this has changed a bit now. And the main reason is the new exchange only legend type we got. We only have Ace so far, but remember when, with these exchange legends, it looks like we only get a few copies we can get. And those copies are mainly there to max the final tab. So even if you buy all copies, we can only basically get final, the final tab, or maybe it's Super Tandem or Rush in the future, we can get that maxed. And maybe one extra copy, but then 
is still a far shot from getting level 150. And this legend, we can't watch it with this ace. I can go to my own. Like these legends, they gain a lot with level limit break. At least ace released with level limit break. So as you see, you get stuff at level 110, level 120, level 130, level 150. So if you want, then you exchange legend at max capacity right away. Like the only shot you have is to use one the posters. So for my ace, I used five strength bottom posters and I was lucky that strength is the one I had the most of by far. But you can see here, for example, if we get a quick variant of the exchange legend soon, I won't be able to max it. Probably won't matter, but it might. And for the others, I'm good. But basically this means that let's say we get another Apu, like let's say we get an Int legend that is amazing. He's maybe a Super Sugo or PvP legend or something. Getting into level 150 is great in general. But if I use up all my Int the posters for him and we get an Int exchange legend, I have nothing I can do. It's literally impossible for me to do anything about it until I get enough the posters. So because of that, I will do a personal I had done a personal decision that I make sure that I have at least four, preferably five of every Legend Wonder posters. Once I've gone about that number, I can consider using them for other stuff. But yeah, that's just my personal take on things. You're free to disagree. We also don't know long term if they will let us get other copies of Exchange Legends. So it can be good to wait and see a bit. But yeah. That's all I have to say about wanted posters of at least. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.